Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Red Dead Redemption video, and today I'm teaching you the best way to make money while fishing. So, first of all, we're going to catch this musky because it's it gave me a dirty look through the water. Oh, there's two right there. That's what I'm talking about. What is that cast? Let's see if I can attract it in. Okay, um, so we're looking for one. We see one right here. Going to give a little little baby cast into it. And uh, we can even see it through the water, but the tip that I want to show you today is using dead eye while fishing. Now, this only works while your fishing pole is out and you're using it. But... Not what I thought. A little pickerel, it's it's okay. But we're still going to go for the musky. Um, and my tip for this is to go into the town of Strawberry because we are here out in Lake Awanjila, as always. Go into Strawberry. Wait until you find an open, open-topped open cart as I have on the other side of Clip, Clip Clop McLovin and uh, steal it. And once you steal it, then you have the capabilities to fish and catch as many fish as you need and the reason oops reason you need to do do it with a, a wagon is because musky are such a big fish that you cannot keep more than just one on the back there we go we got a musky cannot keep more than one on the back of your horse at a time Earlier, I was doing this when I couldn't find a cart with a horse that I stole from someone in town. So I have a little bit of little bit of a bounty going there. But um, what you want to do is get that wagon, wait around, go out of town, come back into town, go out of town until you find an open-topped wagon, steal it, uh, preferably outside of the city limits, and um, bring it over here with your horse. And what you're going to do is catch the muskie. Now, my tip for today is using dead eye while fishing. So this only works while you have your fishing pole out. But it's still in incredibly helpful. And um, you'll eventually pick up on what fish are f which and what they look like. The muskie are big cat-like, catfish-like uh fish that you can see uh, again this one's 14 pounds you'll usually get a 14 pounder uh, it's never uh, or usually you you don't get that much um, so I'm gonna throw this one on the back of the horse and I have one in the wagon right now I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna try to catch one more musky gonna see yeah we got a little bit of time so we're gonna we're gonna try to catch another one again with your fishing pull out Equip that worm bait. That's one of the key factors to this because muskies won't go for uh, corn or my horse is in the way. So I'm going to throw a little baby cast out. We're going to use dead eye to track where he's going. And we got him. So now this this spot is not very good for fishing. I'm going to try to pull him out to the left. And my tip with muskies is whenever they're fighting, just keep the right stick exactly where you left it or, or where it was when they started fighting. So now I'm going to try to hold the left stick to the left as much as possible, trying to keep him off of this rock because I do not want to cut the line on this. Um, again, I'm only using worm bait, so it wouldn't be that terrible if I did. But um, yeah, I just don't want to don't want to mess with it and don't want to lose another one. So this is our third musky that we have now. This one looks like it's 14 pounds again. And what you want to do is take the wagon. I'm gonna drop this one, this musky right here, because this is where I'm gonna need it in future, in the future. 
for when you back up the wagon next to this tall rock right there. So back it up. Kind of keep it as close as possible. Get out. Grab the other musky. And go ahead. Walk up the side of this. And if you go fast enough, I don't think I have it close enough. But you should be able to step onto it if you have it backed up enough. I'm just going to try to Kobe it. There we go. Not very good at basketball, but I'm good at throwing a fish into the back of a wagon. And uh, then we're going to go for one more. We're just going to go for one more musky. See if we can spot one. Oh, of course, forgot that I need my fishing pole. So right now we have three musky lined up right now. I think there's one right there. Yep. Got to bait it. All right, let's see where he went. I think that's his bubble right in the center. So when you're fishing, you want to look for the bubbles and then dead eye and try to spot whatever kind of fish you would like. Again, I really like musky. Uh, you get $7.75 per musky. And uh, with that, you know, you can really you can really do some damage, especially when you have a wagon that you can Ooh, I just scared that one away. That was a mistake on my part, so we're going to reel it back in and try to spot another one, maybe. Maybe? No? No? Okay. What was that one? I think that was a that was a salmon. But um one tip, if you go over to this rock right where my bobber is, and stand up there and leave the wagon over here, your fish will disappear. So be careful with that. You're going to want to... Uh, uh, guess we got a free salmon. That's that's three bucks right there, $2.25. Um, so pull the uh, fishing pole back out. I think I saw a jump out there. I'm going to try to get it. I'm going to bank on the fact that I saw that jump and see if I can catch the musky all the way out there. See if I can spot one. I kind of... I wonder what will happen if I don't reel in because I don't think this is a musky. Oh, it actually lets go. Okay. I don't think this is a musky. I'm not seeing tail. Reeling, go ahead. Yeah, it's not putting up too much of a fight, so I'm thinking it's just a perch or a, a rock bass. Yeah, perch. Let's give it one more cast. One more cast, and we'll see if we can catch one more musky to bring in a whopping load of four muskies. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we spot one more. Is that one? No, what we're going to do, we're going to climb up on this rock. And jump off right after. And now i got to pull out my fishing pole again. It's a little jank. Hopefully they fix it make it a little bit better but um you know let's see if we can find one more musky there's one way out there long cast we're gonna give it a tap with the right trigger try to attract it oh that's a fit or that's a, a duck what am I doing with my life You got to be careful because, you know, we're, we'll just call it a day with three fish. And what you do is call your horse, get up on the back of this, and as you can see, there's the two muskies in the back. 
So let's think about this. 775 times 3, that's about $22, $23. Uh, pretty good load just for, just for musky. Along with all the sockeye salmon that you can catch out here, it's, it's pretty impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it into... Okay, my horse is coming. Had to make sure. Sometimes you never know. And uh, I am going to extend this video until we take the fish into town because I want to see if the wagon stays next to you when you go into the butcher's menu. So we're going to set a fa uh, set a travel point right there. Hopefully nothing comes and tries to eat me. But get the cinematic view going. Go full speed back. And again, three musky, 25 bucks for... I made it look very difficult to do this, but if you use your dead eye, if you get lake lures, if you're level 30 already, more power to you because it's less finagling that you have to do to get the fish to bite. And, uh, you know, overall, a little bit easier, but what we're going to do is bring this into town, as I just said, um, and... See if the wagon stays after we sell these three salmon. Uh, I'm assuming it will. I'm act no no no. I'm gonna assume that it's not gonna stay, and that you're gonna have to steal another wagon, which really makes it beneficial to try and stay fishing. And why is this guy in the way? Get out of my way. Um, you're gonna want to try and stay and catch five to ten muskies even more if you can um again i stole this wagon with a little bit of stuff in it so i feel like i would have ran into some problems if i had a full period of time and not trying to make a youtube video for you guys um to see if i could fill up a whole wagon and see how many i could actually bring in um again this is just a quick money trick um you're not going to be break in the bank with this but if you if you like fishing in the game if you enjoy the fishing and uh you got some time to kill it's definitely worth it so what we're gonna do stop here get out hop in there we go pick up one of the muskies I was going to drop it, but... Okay, so we're going to come in here. Call your horse again. Make sure he's a little bit closer so you can get both. So one, two muskies, one chain pickerel, a sockeye salmon that we found. We didn't even have to use bait for that. Perch, rock bass, and a bluegill. Now... Ooh! It actually stays. Now, that, that might have been a glitch because I had the muskie in the back. But let's check to see if we can if we can keep the – it does stay there. That's a big win for us, guys. So now we can go back right at it and do it over and over and over without having to wait to find another wagon. And uh, that's some good news. I'm, I'm, I'm super pumped. We are uh, – we're going to call it a, a, a night for this video, I guess, for this YouTube video. We're going to keep streaming. Again, we are out here live on twitch.tv forward slash the blue ski, the name that you see right next to my picture below. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then. And uh, I'm going to try to find some new glitches and stuff like that. I'm going to see actually how many wagons a posse of mine can, can round up and bring to this lake and just fish and see how much fish we can catch and uh, just try to have fun with it. Again, if you want to stop in for that, I'm live on Switch. Uh, check it out. I have a link in the bio, I believe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I appreciate it. We will be ending the video with a little bit of whistling from the butcher. <laughs>